Hey shooters, we're out here at the uh, Moxie Range, the Yakima Valley Rifle and Pistol Association. Anyways, really good match. They have a really good, we have a good time out here. It's a steel challenge match, as always. We're doing another out of the box to the match gun review of something I, I can't believe I'm gonna do, but check it out. Caltech. Caltech make any real big pistols? No. Well, they do make their their, uh, their 22 mag. Check it out. This is the Caltech P11. Magazine out. Gun is safe. Not much for me to hold on to in a nine millimeter. So this ought to be interesting. Uh, Chad Enos, good dude. Thank you, Chad, for putting this gun in my hand on a on a loan basis, so I could. Uh, Embarrass myself on camera for YouTube to see how well I can shoot this thing out of the box into a match steel challenge. Uh, these uh, <clears throat> have a fairly good reputation as being reliable. Uh, accuracy, I don't haven't tested yet. I haven't really heard much about that. But you use proper ammo in them, they tend to run. Okay, I'll throw a little oil, more oil on this one. But uh, again, all I've done is uh, pop the top end off, throw a little lube on it, dry fire it a couple times, and I got it out here at the match. And he was kind enough to send me five magazines because they're 10 round mags, and hopefully I won't use 10 rounds in every five shot string. Uh, supposed to be 140 rounds minimum to get to the match today, and I shoot them twice, as I always do. So I'll get at least 300 rounds for the gun. So you will see how well it runs out of the box and to the match. This is the Keltec P11. Very compact, little nine millimeter. I, have I checked that trigger pull? No. It's smooth, I mean, in the sense that it's just continuously, it's like a, uh, I don't know, it's a plastic trigger double action revolver. Ooh, what holster am I gonna use? You guys are always wondering. Well, this is a center of mass holster that you can see the tie wraps on. I put a piece of foam in there and a couple of tie wraps and it, hear that? It actually sneaks into place like a real, real deal holster. So, unless I mess up too much, it should work. I may have to do some adjustments on the, at the um, safety area, but, Let's see how it works for this out of the match and to the out of the out of the match. No, out of the box and to the match gun review. And as always, freedom munitions. Wah! And this is their uh, new manufactured 115 grain round nose. I wanted to give the gun a good fighting chance. I wasn't going to use hollow points or something weird. It's a $230 pistol. Let's see how it works with this. Break it in with this, and then naturally at the end, I'll test four or five, six brands of ammunition, and we'll test a, some defensive ammo, which is the intended purpose of this pistol anyways. So, on to the match. All right, Thanks, Dave. like I said, first round's out of the box at the range officer's command. Make ready. The Keltec P11. Chad Enos, I may or may not hate you after this. All right. I'm already starting to giggle. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Come on, over the top. Yeah, over the top. Over the top. Way over the top. Ooh. Wow, it shoots 13. high. Thirteen. It went bang every time, but it does shoot high. Thirteen even. Thirteen even. Wow. Lucky thirteen. I know I can stay with that. You know what I told my I told myself in other videos that I really should shoot the first one as slow as I can and find out where it shoots. But the buzzer goes off and I can't. She was telling me to. Doing a video for so it's not high, just to see how the or I did. Do, but they can't do it from a somehow, somehow. Shooter so yeah. ready? Stand by. Five eighty one. Wow. Yeah. Three point three barrel. That was pretty good. Five eighty one. I don't know how would I do that. Shooter ready? Though. Stand by. Oh, I don't know. Also, I bought my wife a Ruger 2245 this morning. Oh, wow. Awesome. I'm going to be the first to shoot it. Gotta get out of the break. I'm going to have to break it in eventually. 537. Oh, beautiful. I got Malfunction. Looks like I failed to extract. Oh, neat. I like that. Yeah. Come on, magazine. Ah. Extract it now. No, that's one. String four. Maybe I was limp wristing. <laughs> Shooter ready. Stand by. Four seventy nine. Four seven nine. 
Last string. Shooter ready. Stand by. Come on. 842. Eight. Unload, show clear. Four Slide down. Two. Hammer down, Thank you. One malfunction in the first 50, maybe no more. Yeah, every gun needs a little break-in, especially something that costs $230. Oh, yeah. Not that I've got anywhere near that age. It's shootable. So while you reload, I just I have to be better shooter. at shooting. Thanks a lot, Chad. I hate you. <laughs> Stand by. Malfunction. Yep, same one. Didn't extract. Ugh. Eighteen seventy-five, and that's two. Eighteen seventy-five. Proud to say, I think I'm doing worse than you. I'm gonna ready. Uh, that, Stand that by. <laughs> Five thirty. Five three zero. Final string. She's ready. Stand by. Three ninety seven. She's ready. Stand by. I'm in the open. I'm just a compulsive instructor. That's all. <laughs> I, I'm with you. 435. I can't see what I'm doing, and I've never had any direct, other than the There's Army and my grandfather, I haven't had any direct, direct yeah, instruction. Yeah, so they're, they're ready? Uh, any creative criticism you can stand by. pull out, I'm going to have to hear it. We need to get some range time together out here. I'd love to. 431. <laughs> 473. What's he shooting oh, first? Shooting open first? Whatever one you put yeah, in. Whatever one you put oh. scores on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Say again? Not yet. No, 473, yes. Oh, 473. Shooter ready. Stand by. 419. Thanks, Shooter ready. Stand by. Thought I could step on the throttle. It takes a little more effort. <laughs> 667. Yes. Okay, back the throttle back down to normal. Shooter ready. Stand by. 499. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Feel a flinch coming in. Six ninety-seven. Yeah, if you would have quit shooting me around, you know, you would have such fatigue. Hello, so clear, slide down, hammer down. <laughs> Here, front of DA. <laughs> no thanks. Really? Wow. True. Better you than me, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd hate to miss because I don't want to shoot any extra rounds no. out of that one. <laughs> I know, I'm impressed with what he's Better the you than me, sweetheart. That about sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is impressive. I love the look. They, they, they've got oh. that. Oh. 590. Okay, it's a little I, better. I, I we're, we're trying tape. So my little fitters can right make it through. She like the, the, the 590? Yeah. yeah. See, that's what it says. <laughs> Okay. Shooter ready? Stand by. Five forty-two. Five forty-two. Only one? Just one. I just put one in there. Oh, gotcha. Shooter ready. Stand by. She liked the Bursa? Yeah, she did. She's not. She's five one. She got. Five 
564. 564. Right, yeah, it's exactly. It's, it's pretty sublime. But I'll show her a picture. Shooter ready. Stand by. I like that one. Come on, break the shot. Come on, finger. Because her birthday's coming. Ah. So I, uh, uh, 1171. Literally, my finger's running out of ability to pull the trigger. That's what that grunt is. Final string. Final string. Oh, yeah. I got a purple one, man. She would be crazy. Shooter ready. Stand by. Come on, another finger. Forty-five. Does he? The idea is it's like. Oh, okay. I see. Twenty-one, twenty-six. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm using the other trigger finger. I'm using two trigger fingers to pull the trigger. You see the gun it just wiggle it away. That looks so clear. Slide down, hammer down. Put it away. Be done with it. Well, Chad, I took you up on your. Uh, Double dog dare. I shot the gun 400 rounds as of these mags. The gun worked. Had two malfunctions. Yeah. Oh yeah, It's pretty impressive for what what you're actually going to do with it. It's just carry it. You're going to shoot a little bit and carry it a lot. It works. I'll do some accuracy testing when the finger heals. <laughs> and test some other actually defensive loads to the gun, and we'll see how it wraps up. But right now, I'm not disappointed. Two in 400 rounds. Yeah, that's not lovely, but it's a $200 gun that once broke in seems to run just fine but my fingers broke out. So thank you, Chad. P11 Keltec. Hey shooters, uh, the end of a day and a half of uh, pretty exhaustive physically testing of the Keltec P11. You saw the two malfunctions and the only two mal malfunctions that the pistol had at the steel match yesterday in Yakima. Today I came out to do my accuracy testing and all accuracy testing this time is outside of my normal protocol. I did it at 15 yards. Two reasons. One, uh, the level of fatigue in my poor little worn out trigger finger. Uh, made it difficult for me to apply the fundamentals as well as the gun can shoot. So I did it at 15 yards to allow myself a little more ability to uh, shoot good groups. And uh, because the gun is truly a compact little pistol, it really is not a 25 yard bullseye gun. So three inch groups at, 20, at 15 yards, that's solid performing. I think that's very good. Uh, it didn't have no more malfunctions. Again, so I got close to 500 rounds to the gun. Solid unit. The trigger pull, I got out a meat scale to, to measure the trigger pull somewhere in the order of 12 to 13 pounds. That's not brutally heavy, but uh, it really did chew up my finger and it fatigued my hand pulling it 400 times in a match. It also pinches between the bottom of the trigger and the trigger guard. So in between those two, under the throes of recoil, it tore up the trigger finger. Uh, are you gonna shoot 400 rounds in a day through the gun? I would suggest you don't and you probably won't. Um, the gun's currently available at Defender Outdoors, one of my sponsors, $237 for the P11. It's a solid little gun. I'm going to talk to Chad Enos, and thank you, Chad, for getting this gun into my hands. It's a loaner based on you, YouTube viewers, saying, hey, we like what you're doing here, Pat. We want to see more gun reviews. I mentioned the kel -Tec and you went, yeah, do the kel -Tec. I hate all of you for making me do this kel -Tec. As you saw in the, in the uh, video from yesterday, I actually had to use two trigger fingers to, uh, in combination to break the last two shots on the very last stage. And as always, I show the very first five strings at the uh, steel match out of the gun and the very last five and then edit the rest just so it doesn't take a week and a half to get you through a, a video on how the gun worked. But the very last uh, two, two rounds out of the gun I had to use two trigger, both my trigger fingers in order to get the gun to break. I just was so fatigued. 
again, that's not an indictment of the gun. The gun ran fine. Uh, it is perfect in the role in which it was intended. Speaking of the roles which it was intended, I just stoked it up here a minute ago with five rounds of Hornady XTP, and oh, there's a bad guy behind me! That's what it was built to do. I even had a little stutter step because, again, the trigger finger is fatigued. But that's what it's designed to do, and it does it very well. Chad, I'm going to be getting a hold of you and asking you to make me the good guy deal on this gun because I'd like to add it to my collection. Um, in trying times, we uh, need to arm ourselves up a little bit more, and this is a good tool to add to that collection of tools to defend life and limb. Keltec P11, solid performer, uh, good groups, reliable, sends the two rounds you saw on video. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate you liking, subscribing, and watching. It helps greatly to get people like Chad at Caltech, uh, SPS Pistols, uh, Grand Power, those kind of people recognize what I'm trying to bring to you. Absolute honesty in reporting. What you see, warts and all, is what the gun did, and also what I did. So again, thanks a lot for watching, liking, and uh, subscribing, if I could get the word out. Please continue to do so, and I'll continue to bring, me, bring you more of legit, out-of-the-box, and to-the-match gun reviews on everything I can get my hands on. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.